Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make is French bread. Now, you can make the bread or you can cut it into small pieces and make uh, rolls or buns out of them. Uh, if you're looking for bread recipes, an Italian uh, bread, French bread, I have many other videos on my channel, so please check it out. Um, I do want to tell you that I'm going to give you the ingredients right up front, okay? I went ahead and used my uh, bread uh, machine on the dough cycle. You certainly can make this dough by hand if you prefer to do so, okay? Uh, but let me give you uh, the recipe right up front. Uh, you will need two uh, packages of active dry yeast. You will need a um, two and one half cups of hot water, and it has to be at least to 105 to uh, 100, uh, 110 around there. Uh, you will need three tablespoons of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and a third of a cup of whatever type of oil uh, that you prefer. If you prefer to use shortening, uh, then you do need to melt it. Uh, I melt mine in the microwave and then allow it to cool. But you can use whatever type of oil that you want. And then use six cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, and then to um, glaze your bread with or give it an egg wash, uh, you can use egg white with a little bit of water and beat it or the whole egg. It's really up to you, whatever that you prefer. Now, I want to show you the dough uh, and just take this right out of my container. I'm going to put a little flour on my countertop here. This dough is very sticky, so I want to warn you of that uh, ahead of time. Now, um, you're going to have additional flour here for your fingers tips and you know to be able to handle it and then just put a little bit on the top. Now you're going to get two uh, loaves out of this. This is one because it's been cut in half. Uh, it's a nice elastic dough other than it being a little sticky. What you want to do is um, uh, roll it out uh, it into um, a rectangle. Okay and you know like a, tw a 12 by 9 that kind of thing I, you know I, I'm not real fussy uh, on the measurement uh, but you get the idea okay and then I just I prefer to just roll it up like this now you maybe have your own way and I'm sure it's what you like and you just go right ahead and do that and then I actually close mine like a package when you're wrapping a package with wrapping paper. And then I just round out the edges here with my hands. And then I give it a little bit of stretch. Now, you'll need a baking pan or, uh, or if you have one of these, I, I, I love these because they're so easy uh, to use. And I lightly spray it with, uh, you know, with your oil spray. Okay. And then I just put it down into my pan. And then just give a little good shape to it. Now, this, of course, is going to have to double in size, so you've got to wait at least, you know, it might take you 35 minutes, it might take you an hour, depending on the temperature of, um, of your, your kitchen. Now, what you can do is, you once you get it double, then you'll want to cut some slashes in the top of it, not all the way through, like that. Uh, and uh, you can do that once it's risen, okay? But put a towel, a clean kitchen towel over that, okay? And wait till it doubles in size. Now, once it doubles in size, again, you can go ahead, you could cut your slashes at that time. I just did that so you could see me do it. 
and then cover it with your egg wash, your egg white, or whatever that you want to do, okay? Now, um, I do want to tell you real quick, um, with the recipe, I'm sorry it won't be below the video, I no longer do that. Uh, due to so many people taking my videos, claiming them as theirs, and uh, you know monetizing them and whatever and it's just not worth it anymore so I, I'm sorry that I don't have that but I hope I went through uh, the ingredients and the recipe list uh, well enough that uh, you got that. Now let me uh, wash my hands real quick and in fact I'm going to just do a step backwards here just to do what the egg wash to show you now probably a lot of you say my heavens I whoa that shouldn't have happened <laughs> it kind of just came out there um, I you know I do this all the time why is she even wasting our time to <laughs> to show with a pastry brush But I usually get questions and some people say, well, why didn't you do it? So I wanted to show you that. Okay, so we'll add, wait for that to uh, double in size. And my kitchen is kind of cold today. So I bet it's going to take close to 45, 50 minutes for mine to come up. Now. This is how it will bake up once you're done. Remember, you're going to get two loaves out of this recipe. It bakes up to just a beautiful golden brown. You can see the slashes in the top. Okay, and let me put a clean towel down here. And um, we'll, um, we'll cut into it here. Whoops. And you'll be able to see the texture on it. Well, let's see. Let me, let me cut this end off for you to show you. It is a beautiful, um, very light. It's not extremely dense. Uh, in the bread or heavy, uh, you know. And in fact, let me press on it just to show you. I hope you can see that and how it's springing back. It's so light, so delicate. This bread is just delicious with um, uh, just alone or with butter or jam. Uh, also, uh, you can slice it into halves and make a uh, pizza out of it very quickly. Put your cheese and your pepperoni or whatever your toppings are and put it in the oven till everything melts. Um, you can do that. You can cut them uh, into um, this size and make sandwiches out of them if you want to take some of the center out uh, so there's less bread to make uh, a sandwich or a hero sandwich or a submarine or a hoagie, whatever you want to call them, but it just makes for delicious uh, light bread. Here, let me just break uh, that away that you can see the, the, the crumb and how light and delicate this bread is. It's relatively so easy to make and it just tastes delicious and your whole kitchen smells wonderful when fresh bread is baking in the oven. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Diane Love to Bake. Uh, and please, as a reminder, watch my video solely on YouTube. If you try this recipe and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. But you need to watch me on YouTube. If you leave your messages elsewhere, I don't see them, I don't get them, and it's really frustrating that I can't answer your comment or your question or your concern or that type of thing. So um, again, if you're so inclined and you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Ring the bell or give me a like, it would be fantastic. So I want to thank you again 
for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube, and I'll see you soon.